guardians. Everything you love shall be destroyed. Okay, what's up, what's up, what's up, guys? So today, I'll be reviewing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, 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 but for real. I know I'm late to the party, but yeah. It's been making numbers, making real numbers. So, what do I think about it? Let's find out. My name is Anthony on Comic Book News, and today we'll be talking about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. The movie has gotten some really great reviews from critics and audiences. So I sat down and I thought, ah, let me go and check it out for myself and tell you guys what I think about it. Okay, so let's dive straight in. Um, the plot of the movie follows the Guardians trying to rescue um, the life of Rocket. Yeah, I personally love Rocket. I love the character uh, and I loved how they focused on him. Yeah, and uh, the movie kicks off with um, the crew in Nowhere, the HQ for the Guardians. Uh, the last time you saw Nowhere is in the holiday special. And from what I can check it, it's, uh, it's been like five, six months uh, since the holiday special until now when the events of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy are happening. Uh, but anyway, uh, a gold cover maniac attacks uh the planet like the planet or the skullish planet um where the guardians are out of nowhere like from nowhere sh you get what i'm saying uh? but uh the maniac turns out to be adam warlock and warlock uh is the, like a champion for the sovereigns the last time you saw the sovereigns i think it was in um guardians of the galaxy 2 and in the process uh rocket gets seriously injured uh, yeah, and he has like about 48 hours to live and while the guardians are trying to save him um, they find out that he has a kill switch in his heart that his creators put on him because he had some serious tech in him that they didn't want other people to discover it so they have to go to this planet called uh, Ogoscope where it's basically like a organic made of organic materials and that's where they go and um, try to get the deactivation key. Meanwhile, we're having like flashbacks in Rocket's mind. We see some flashbacks where um, we see the roots from where how it all started from Rocket being a raccoon in a cage and all that. But we find out uh, the key is not actually in Ogoscope. So. Uh, personally, I saw this coming a mile away because uh, this is a Guardians movie, so nothing goes according to plan. Plus, the bumping of shoulders in the hallways, I saw that as a clear sign that things will not turn out as they are. But anyways, they have to go to Counter Earth, where uh, they found out that the key was actually in implanted, implanted in um, this guy's brain. So they have to follow him to Counter Earth. Counter Earth is like an almost exact replica of Earth that uh, the High Evolutionary uh, created because um, I don't know his obsession with Earth or something. But yeah, they have to go to Counter Earth and look for this guy with the key so that they can rescue Rocket. After some few scenes in Counter Earth, we get to know where the High Evolutionary is. Um, Personally, I thought some scenes were unnecessary in in the higher uh, in the counter earth uh, uh, setup, uh, like the um, how the one of the animal experiments has to explain um, where the high evolutionary is. I mean, there's a like a really big pyramid, like in a mount, like shape like in the shape of a mountain. That's like the first place I'd look, so I didn't really get uh, what was uh, the point of that scene particularly. But I did love the um, the comedy, like when Nebula tries to get into the car. I love that, I love that, yeah. It was personally one of my favorite scenes uh, in, in the setup. The climax happens when the high evolutionary uh, double crosses them. Uh, turns out he, he, he lured them to the ship so that uh, he can send one of his goons to go and get Rocket from the Guardian ship. But then it also turns out that Drax, Nebula and Mantis 
went to rescue um the other members of the galaxy of the guardians of the galaxy from the from the ship uh and turns out also that quill got the deactivation key from the minion of uh the high evolutionary so they are not on the ship so it creates this like uh confusion uh, because uh the whole situation is created because um quill uh, groot and gamora and rocket now have to rescue their friends from the ship which they thought they were on but they actually ain't and also oh there is also a bunch of children that have to be rescued and i thought the final fight fight scenes gave me some mixed feelings because i uh, the CJ was good. Uh, the CJ was really good, and the vid- video effects were really good. But uh, the fight with the high evolutionary I thought was kind of too short for me, because uh, he didn't seem like that hard to fight. Because I mean, uh, uh, Rocket would have taken him all by himself. So uh, I think uh, he did it once, so he'll do it again. But overall on the movie, I thought the cast was really good and I really loved um, how Chris Pratt um, does an amazing job of portraying uh, Peter Quill and showing us a side of the character that we haven't seen, uh, the emotional side. And also I thought uh, Zoe Saldana had done, done a, uh, did a great job uh, as Gamora. Yeah, she was really great and I also thought uh, Brad Cooper. Uh, did a really good job as raising uh, Rocket. I do have some issues with the screen time they get because uh, I think the emotional tension between uh, uh, Peter Quill and um, Gamora that's needed some more, like some more screen time because it was it was it was too short for me. And also think uh, I wouldn't mind having to see him move drugs. Personally, I really thought that uh, Dave Batista really did a good, good job on this. Uh, also, another issue I have with the movie is the emotional roller coaster because uh, from the scenes, from the sad scenes of rockets, memories, and animal, and the experimentation of, of animals, and the seriousness of the high evolutionary and uh, the jokes in these movies, I. I need some time, personally I need some time to process all these emotions and uh, not jumping from one emotion to another. I thought the movie was all over the place uh, in that regard. But uh, the CGI and the visuals were top notch. Um, from the sweeping shots of the landscape of like, the and, uh, yeah, also, also the characters uh, look really good. Uh, everything uh, looks crisp and vibrant on screen. The cinematography uh, captures all the emotion uh, from the scene really well. And overall, I highly recommend this movie because I think it's one of those That's movies really that uh, will leave a memory in your brain for quite a while uh, if you haven't watched it. So. From the heartfelt uh, stories from Rocket and the animal scenes being experimented on by the high evolutionary and the incre- incredible performance of the cast members. But tell me what you think in the comments below because uh, personally I love it. If you have some issues with it, I personally definitely have some issues with it. Uh, but overall I enjoyed the movie. Tell me what you think of it in the comments below. Uh, next we look at the end credit scenes of the movie yeah so stick around for that next um, and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed my review and if you find it helpful tell me what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe i hope you all have a nice day wherever you are watching from bye